RS Fax is the first Salesforce app to integrate eFax Developer, the most popular electronic fax solution. In this demo, I will demonstrate how to send and receive faxes inside of Salesforce, as well as configure fax automation. First, to send a fax from Salesforce, you can go to the Send Fax tab, or on any record in Salesforce, like this contact, you can click the Send Fax button from the related list of sent faxes. The fax recipient will be auto-filled, as well as his fax number from his contact record. Now, I'll go to select the fax PDF file that I wish to fax. You can select a PDF that you have previously uploaded, or you can upload a file from your computer by clicking the Upload button. I will select the file I previously uploaded. A preview of the document will appear. A barcode is automatically added to the corner here. You can optionally add a barcode to the fax so that when it is faxed back to you, it will be automatically associated with the same record. In this example, I'll add a barcode to this fax. We recommend that you put two barcodes on the page and in different areas because sometimes faxes can be distorted, making it unreadable. Now I just click send to send the fax. It redirected me back to the contact record and I can see my sent fax under the sent faxes related list. The fax status starts at sent and when the fax is actually delivered, it will update the status to delivered. If it's not delivered, then the status will get updated to not delivered. Then you could check the fax number to make sure it's valid. You can see all the sent faxes here in the sent faxes tab as well. When you receive a fax, it will appear under the Received Faxes tab. You can make custom list views to organize received faxes based on criteria. For example, I have a view that shows me all faxes I received but have not accepted yet, which is based on the status field. If I click on the Received Fax record, I can view the details of the fax, including a preview image of the fax. If you are using the barcoding feature, the received fax will be related to the record automatically. You can click on the preview image to view it full screen. You can configure RS Fax to automatically fax documents as well. Under the RS Fax Configuration tab, you can configure automation rules. The automation works when a PDF gets attached to the record. I'll click New to set up a new rule. Give the rule a name, just for reference. I'll set this up to Auto Send a quote document related to the opportunity. Here, I select where to get the fax number to send to. I'll select the fax number field on the opportunity I set up. Then, I indicate what the PDF file name should start with or contain in order to auto-fax that PDF file. So in this example, I'll say if the file name starts with fax, then auto-fax it out. Now, I can configure the placement of the barcodes if I want to use the barcoding feature. First, I'll select the quote template I'll be auto-faxing so I can preview it. Then, I'll place the barcodes where I want them to appear. Then click Save. Now, if a PDF file with a file name starting with fax gets attached to an opportunity, it will be automatically faxed out. In most cases, you will use an app like RS Documents or Conga to generate a PDF document automatically based on a template and attach it to the record to make this process more efficient. Check out our RS Documents app or Conga Composer on how to set up a button or automatically generate and attach a PDF to a record. In this example, I've set up a button on my opportunity to fax a quote using RS Documents. All I have to do is click the Fax Quote button and a PDF will be generated using my template and merging the opportunity information and attaching the PDF to the record. Then RS Fax will automatically fax it out. You can see the attachment here and the sent fax record here on the opportunity related list. You can really set up some powerful automation processes around faxing or just use it for simple sending and receiving of faxes. So go ahead and install the free trial and a test fax number will be assigned to you so you can give it a try. Read the documentation and contact support with any questions.